100 monkeys. 100 monkeys? 100 monkeys. 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 Top seven things I love to do. Indoor surfing. This is our, our home on the road. And putting spinach on my sandwich. In here we got, you know, like a, a shower that we keep uh, some more of our gear in because we don't shower. Oh! oh right here is where we keep our, uh, our, our J-Rad who's constantly looking at himself in the mirror. Um, up here we've it's got, you know. Mirror. Roll call. <laughs> I'm Jackson Rathbone. I'm Ben Grobner. I'm Ben Johnson. I'm Jared Anderson. I'm Lois Abrams. We are 100 Monkeys. She go and she go smiling and of course she'll leave a beautiful girl. Well, it all started about uh, I don't know four years ago in Los Angeles when uh, Ben Grafman moved down and uh, uh, we started jamming together and then and we finally convinced uh, Ben Johnson to move out and uh, play play with us and we recorded an album just improv called Monster Deluxe. And we've been jamming with Jared for some time and uh, and uh, we met Lawrence uh, on, on on a film set. And we started playing with him, and then finally uh, we all just kind of came together and decided that you know we need to make a band. Well, originally Jay and I were recording music in the car on the 405, <laughs> and we call ourselves uh, Ben and Jay. Yeah. And so we were, <laughs> we're looking for a more inclusive title for when we were making music with with other people. people. Yeah. And so when we would make other songs, we call it 100 Monkeys because we thought that it, the sort of theory of spread consciousness was kind of good for something that, that could grow and sure enough it grew into this band. that you guys like to switch your, your instruments around. That is a fact. Uh, we all usually have something to offer in each instrument, so when we have the opportunity or the song brings it on, well, we switch it up a bit. And you guys heard 100 Monkeys in Vancouver, British Columbia. 100 Monkeys. Canada, and you love Jackson. Your band, you love Daniel Johnson, don't you? Oh, yeah, we love Daniel Johnson. He's, uh, he's a huge influence. And actually, I got to see a Daniel Johnston show. Uh, like uh, he, he, was, he performed here a couple nights ago, so I got to go see that, which is amazing, man. Watching him perform live, is, you know, like that, that man puts his heart on his sleeve. It's what can you tell the people about Daniel Johnson? What's that? What can you tell the people about Daniel Johnson? Oh, he's just an incredible songwriter. He's probably one of the best songwriters alive today, I think. He's... He's an artist as well. His graphics, his visual art that he draws is absolutely amazing. And Daniel Johnson has a message for you. He does? Yes, crowd around here, 100 Monkeys. We. crazy do your fans get usually? Very crazy and it's a, uh, a mixture of all the most wonderful things life has to offer. Yeah, we're, we're touring all over the country in uh, two different stages. The first one ends at the end of uh, January and then the next one starts at the beginning of March and that one will be like the whole east half of the country so by the end of, uh, by the end of April we hope to cover the whole country pretty much. And Canada. And Canada, yeah. So there's a new album coming out by 100 Monkeys called Liquid Zoo and uh, I've got to know what this is all about. I mean, so to tell me the style of the record. Is it different than your first one? Well, Liquid Zoo is our, our second studio album, being followed by our, our first album, Great, which we released about a year ago. And it's going to be the fifth 
our sixth addition to our, our complete discography, which has um, everything from live albums to Monster Deluxe, which was an improvised jam in a living room in Hollywood. Um, but Liquid Zoo is, is going to be our, our flagship piece come this March, and uh, we've collaborated with more artists on Liquid Zoo than we have on any other project yet. And um, a lot of artists are from the Baton Rouge area, and we're really excited about it, and uh, we think it's got a, a great sound. I think it's going to make some people really happy. When it comes to charity, you guys are also very involved in the charitable uh, aspect of life, too. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, we support um, the SBL, which is uh, Spencer Bell Legacy Fund, which is... Um, it's for adrenal cancer research and some of the other orphan cancers. And uh, it's for our friend Spencer Bell, who uh, I was in a band with. Um, he passed away a few years ago. He's an amazing artist. He's a writer, musician, actor, and just a huge inspiration to all of us. And um, so we get together a couple times a year with a whole bunch of other old friends of Spencer's. And uh, we play his music, and you know, uh, people come together. And it's, it's pretty wonderful. Say, but uh, get the mother up and eight out of here. Go, shoot, 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 shoot.